Hi everyone, it's Norm from the Shotokan Chronicles. I want to thank you for coming and joining us for our first video. Today I'd like to talk about the elephant in the room. Literally, I'm not in a dojo. And I hope to be able to provide you with this first video from an actual dojo. But just like you, I'm trapped in quarantine due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But that doesn't mean you should stop training. Master Furunakoshi wrote in, do in Nijukun number 11, karate is just like hot water. If you do not give it continuous heat, it will grow cold. Basically what this means is to continue your training at all times, no matter what. I know, not, I know all of you sitting at home probably don't have a lot of space. Personally, in my home, our rooms are rather small and there's just not enough room to do kata. How can you practice a kata and be able to perform the techniques correctly in a small space? There are a couple options. Hey, on Shodan, you can do two different ways to perform the entire kata and be able to do it within a very small space. I'm going to show you both of, the, both of the ways that you can do this. There's actually three ways, but one of them is just changing the legs that you're pivoting with. The first way I'm gonna show you, it involves just body shifting. Down to them. When you perform the kata with body shifting, you're gonna do your downward block as normal. Then change your feet to deliver your punch. When you go to, to turn around, change your feet to do your block. Hammer fist, change your feet. Your block, change your feet. Hey. So you'll be able to perform Heian Shodan within a very small confined area. The other two ways of doing the kata involves using one or the other leg as just a pivot point. You have to remember which leg you're pivoting on and which leg you're stepping with at all times in this version. If you make a mistake, you're going to end up stepping too far or you're going to end up running into something if you do not have a lot of room. Believe me, I've done it. So this time I'm going to use my right leg as a pivot point. All of my stepping will be done with my left leg. So in this version, I need to step back and forth to make up the difference. So I'll do a step forward and then I'll step backwards. Stepping, stepping back for the punch, pivoting on the right leg, hammer fist. And you notice I brought my leg in because this is the only leg that I'm allowed to move. Step and punch, downward, stepping back, stepping in, stepping back. Hey. Rotating on the right leg. Stepping back punch, continuing my rotation on the right leg, stepping in, block. stepping back for the first punch, stepping in, stepping back, rotating.
rotating, continuing on the right leg for rotation, shoot them. Here you'll step back, 45, rotate around, and then step forward. The other way of doing it with shifting legs is you're going to use your opposite leg as your pivot point. So instead of stepping with my left leg, it's now the pivot. So for my downward block, I have to step back and step into the punch, turning on the left leg, downward block. Hammer fist is just normal, moving the right leg in, stepping back with the punch, rotating for my downward block. Moving forward, moving back, moving forward. Now I need to rotate on my left leg, so I have to come around and downward block. Step and punch. Rotating on the left leg again, as normal in the kata, coming around, and then stepping back for the punch. This leg needs to step out for the downward block. Stepping in for the punch, stepping back, stepping in. To rotate for the first shoot though, I need to rotate on my left leg. So my right leg needs to move this way to do the shoot though. 45, using the normal stepping that you would do in the kata, turning around as normal, and then stepping back. I hope this short video to show you three different ways to perform Heian Shodan in a small confined space are helpful. Please, in this time, continue your training. Do not let your water grow cold, as Master Funakoshi would have said. And always, as Master Funakoshi also write, devise. Come up with different ways of doing things, whether it's moving your legs in a kata, whether it's performing your techniques in some different manner, shortened stances, using household utensils, such as chairs, sheets of paper, um, brooms, whatever you can. Hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll have some more videos that will show you some household items that you can use in your training. Finally, I'd like to say thank you for joining me on this journey.